Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode 12 of Photoshop Quick Tips. Those of you that have used Photoshop for a while know that in the last couple versions of Photoshop, Adobe changed something about selection. Specifically, with older versions of Photoshop, when you did a selection, you went to the Refine Edge dialog to make your selection a little better. Well, in the latter versions of Photoshop, they got rid of that Refine Edge dialog and they now call it Select and Mask. And a lot of people don't really like that Select and Mask dialog and they kind of wish they could use the old Refine Edge dialog. Well, yesterday, I received a Facebook message from my Facebook friend Beverly and she told me you could do that in the latest version of Photoshop and it's super easy. So she told me how to do it so I'm going to pass that on to you. Now we're going to just do a quick selection of this image here. So we're going to get the quick selection tool and we're just going to do a just a quick selection. Nothing, nothing like crazy. Okay so we just have this quick selection. Now you know in the you know, newer version of Photoshop, we have right here, select and mask. And if we clicked on select and mask, once my computer catches up, there we go, we have this newer dialogue. And a lot of people don't like this newer dialogue. Well, you also could get to that newer dialogue if you go up here to select and you go down to select and mask, right? Well, if you want that old refine edge dialogue, go up to the select menu, go down to select and mask, and before you click on it, hold the shift key in, then click on it while you're holding that shift key and you get the old refine edge dialog. And then you could refine your edge with this dialog as opposed, as opposed to the new select and mask dialog. Now, Adobe claims the select and mask and the refine edge do the exact same thing and they have the same like engine involved to do the selection. I just know a lot of people just prefer this floating window here and they seem to get better selections with it. So thank you Beverly for sharing that info with me and I shared that info with you. So remember you have to do this from the select menu. It won't work if you hold the shift key in here and click. It won't work. So you have to do it from the select menu. So just remember that and then you'll get that old Refine Edge dialogue. So that's it for this episode of Photoshop Quick Tips. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.